Welcome to flexibility flow. You won't need any equipment in this flow in particular, but if you have some tightness in your hamstrings and your hips, feel free to grab a couple of blocks or some pillows to support. Take rest whenever you need. We will also be doing some of a strengthening part along with some mobility in order to increase more of the flexibility. So we've been doing all kinds of stretching at the same time. All right, whenever you are ready, let's hop on the mat and join me in child pose. First of child pose, drop your head, rest your chest, your belly, your hips. Inhale, relax between your eyebrow points. And feel your belly moving back and forth. Trying your best to bring yourself, your mind, your awareness into the yoga mats. Observe how do you feel today. Is there any differences between the right side and the left side at the moment? Completely relax your chest and your neck. Here we go, inhale, start to press your palms around the spine, chin to the chest, start to lift your back up, inhale, move your hip back, look up, tuck your toes, exhale, back to the tabletop position, we're starting with a little bit of our hip, so extend the right leg back. Press your palm, pull the belly, take an exhale, lift the right leg up, keep the hip square, point your toes. Now trying to hold it here first, two, three, and then bend the right knee. Start to flex your ankles, keep the belly nice and tight as you lift your heels up, look up. And on the exhale, round the spine, bring your right knee towards to the right arms and round the back, trying to get your right knee as high as possible. And then inhale, kick back, bend your knee, lift, exhale, round two. Inhale, kick up, exhale, three. up four exhale five inhale one more time extend inhale one more time kick the right leg up then start to balance on right hands if balancing is too hard keep both hands on the floor and keep the belly nice and tight and hold. For the second options, left hand will grab the right foot. And then you're gonna kick up. Hold. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, okay. Drop your hand. Drop your knees, round the spine, cat pose, one time, inhale, switch to the other side, feel free to shake out your wrists if you need, then we start again off with that left leg straight out, point your toes, and just simply lift the left leg, not too high, still keeping the hip down and square, hold it, three, two, 
one, bend your left knee, flex your ankles and trying to lift up as well as keep the belly nice and tight, look up slightly, you should not feel that arching in the lower back and exhale, left knee to the left arm, round the spine, lift the knee as high as possible without bending the arms, inhale, back and up, exhale, round the spine, chin to the chest, inhale, Exhale, three, up, four, kick up, five, then lift the left leg up. Either balance on two hands and kick the leg or right hand trying to catch the left foot. And then you're going to kick up Go for one, two, Three, four, five, then let go. All right, press your palms, tuck your toes, move back to the down dog. Starting with adjust your feet and your hands, lift the heels a couple of times. Press your palms like you wanted to push your body away from the mats. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, right leg lift. Bend the knee, open the hip. Get the right shoulder a little bit low to keep the shoulder square. And then start to spin the circle with this right knee. Bend circle and bigger circle. Two times more. Exhale, right foot. Step between the hands, drop your left knee on the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms over the head, adjust your feet again. Interlace your fingers and lift the palms over and turn the palms up to the ceiling. Pull the belly in. It's not like you're trying to sink your hip forward, but keep pressing through the heel. Lift the arms. Girls behind. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, put your hands down. Turn the outer edge of the right foot down into the middle of the mat. Feel free to adjust your knees closer or further. Walk your hands a little bit forward. Then trying to press the outer edge of the foot and turn that right knee to the side as much as possible. No need to force yourself just yet. Trying to press, squeeze, push into the foot, lift the arms. Exhale, open the arms out like a cactus and shift your hip forward. So we do that two more times and hands on the floor. Turn your knees out to the side. Maybe you can lower the chest down, maybe not. Come up. Put the foot down, sweep the arms, exhale, cactus, last one, down, open, squeeze, lift up, turn out, three, press your palms, straight your right leg, you can place the block, your right leg doesn't have to be straight line just kind of bend your right knee focus on lengthening your back as much as possible S to straight the leg and round the back is not doing any good much towards to your hamstring so keep it bent keep pressing through that right heel exhale fold your body forward 
and the more you lean your body to the front and down, the more you push the heel to lift yourself away from the floor. It's gonna sound like conflicts on that one. All right, keep pushing to the heel. Three, four, five. Bend your right leg. Still tuck your toes. Sweep the arms over the head. All right, this time, both hands together. Point your index fingers. Push your hip down. Lift the chest. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Put your hands down, step back to the down dog. Exhale, come to the top, plank. And go for Chaturanga or the Bhujangasana, which is the knee, chest, and chin. The butt lift up like this, and then slide your chest up. Exhale. Down with facing dog. Take five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale, left leg lift this time. Bend the knee, open the hip. And then make a circle with this left knee three times. One, two, three. Exhale, left foot step between the hands. Drop your right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms. Again, interlace your palms and lift it up. Squeeze your arms behind the ears and pull back. Core engage as you sink your hip forward. Use your glute muscles to hold your back. One, two, three, Every inhale, lift the chest even higher. Four. Five. Exhale, press your palms. Then turn the outer edge of the left foot. And trying to get your body forward and down. Pushing to that edge of the foot to break yourself. And then straight your left leg. It's just your hip, your legs. Get your hips square. You can lift up the foot or keep it on the floor, but press down through that left heel. Inhale. Exhale. Suck the belly. The lower you trying to get down, the more you press the left heel. Two. Three, four, five. Bend your left knee. Sweep the arms over the head again. Palms together. Point your index finger up and lengthen your spine. Lift the arms. Lift the chest. Pull the belly. Get your body low, but push the left heel to get the chest up and back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, get down with the hands, step the left foot back to the down dog, and go for a vinyasa. Inhale, Cobra, exhale, take five right here, breathe, one, two, 
three, four, five. Bend your knees, look between your hands, hop, or jump forward. Flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms over the head, standing all the way up. Exhale, come down again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back to the down dog. Inhale, right leg lift. Bend the knee, open the hip. Now trying to spin up the circle again, but option two is to bring your knees to the nose, knee to right elbow, and make a circle. Two more times, either just spin the circle right where you are, last round, or knee to the front, to the side, and up. Exhale, step the foot to the front between your hands, Tuck your toes, sweep the arms over the head. Lift your palms up one more time. Exhale, this time lean forward. And the more you lean forward, try not to drop the arms below the ears. Trying to get it in the same line or as higher, trying your best. And lean forward. Two, three, four, five. Straight the legs, release the hands. Bring your hands behind, interlace your fingers. Grab the strap or the towel if this is a bit too difficult for your shoulders. Put both feet on the floor as much as you can. Extend the arms, exhale. Shift your body towards to the left corner of the mat and try to go down to the humble warrior. Hold it here for five and trying to get your body away from the right knee. Four, three, two, one. Release your hands down. Option one is to drop your left knee and either keep the knee on the floor and sweep the arms over the head and we'll go for that cactus variation. Second option I give it to you is the knee is not on the floor. You go down, up and sweep the arms and open. We do it together three times. All right, let's start. First round, I do it the knee on the floor just like last round. Two more rounds. I lift the knee up this time, but really up to you. Last round together, any options you please. Control and slow. Three, straight your front leg. Now your back knee. Is up or down, up to you, but we are going to fold our body down to the front. Adjust your feet or your knees and try to straight the front leg. If you can lift the front foot up, do that and press the heels and fold your chest, your head down. And trying to push and ground down that heel even more. Hold it for five, four. Three, two, one. Great. Inhale, lift the heads up. Exhale, step back to the down dog. Here we go for vinyasa again. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's do the left side together. But first, take three breaths right here at the downward facing dog. Go. 
Okay. Inhale, lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Circle your knees there three times. Or bring the knees to the front, shoulders over the wrist. Let me left elbow and then big circle. Two more times. Last one. Exhale, left foot, step between your hands. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, sweep the arms over the head. And same, go into laser fingers and lift. Exhale, get down. Inhale, up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, trying to keep your arms either in line or behind the ears and lean forward. Get your hips square. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale. Straight that left leg. Adjust your foot. Hands goes behind the back. Again, grab the towel or the strap. Interlace your fingers. Put your right foot down. Bend your left knee. And go for the humble warrior on this side. Try and get your body away and not resting your armpits on your left thigh as much as you can. Keep both legs strong. Especially also that right leg as well. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale. Come back up. Straight both legs. One more time. Exhale. Adjust your feet. Bring both hands close to the floor or on the blocks. Option one is to drop your knee. Option two is to keep the right leg up just like the other side. Go for that half pigeon. Turn the outer edge of the foot. Put your foot down. Sweep the arms over. Either the back knee is on the floor or not. Open the arms out. One. Two more times. Focus on move with control and slow. Exhale. Last one. All right. Place your hands, adjust your feet. Get your hip square, fold, word fold into the pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Fold down and keep press the bottom of the left heel. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, inhale, step back to the down dog. Exhale, vinyasa. You know, up to cobra or up dog. Exhale. Five breaths here at the down dog. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, drop your knees down. Go for a quick child pose.
All right, feel free to take a little rest more if you need. Otherwise, let's go ahead, meet me in the downward facing dog. Hip, get back up energetically. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, press the heels down. Next, inhale, right leg lift up. Bend the knee, open the hip. I'm still sticking with either option one, keep spinning, or bring your knee to the nose and then spinning. Two more times, same. Last one. Exhale, right foot step between the hands. Inhale, this time everyone, let's get our body up together, sweep the arms. Exhale, swing your arms out like you're about to fly. Lean forward, hold, two, three, shift your body forward, trying your best to be on that left tippy toes, four, five, put your left foot back, interlace your fingers, go for a humble warrior, inhale up first, exhale, get down, five, Four, three, two, one. Bring your hands down to the top of the mat. We are going to drop your left knee. Go for a pigeon pose. Slide your left foot down. Feel free to adjust your hip. From here, you can place the block, the pillow, right underneath the right hip. What I really want to see from you is you are not sitting on one of the hip. Even though your hip is not on the floor at all, that's fine. If you look like this, it's okay. Try to get your hip square. Turn your right knee out towards to the side. The knee is not necessarily to point up to the front because this you don't get to stretch out the outer hip much. So once you find yourself in the pigeon position, press your palms, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, press your chest down and still keep your fingertips or your hand to support. And then inhale, come back up, exhale, two, inhale, up, exhale, down, three, inhale, up, four, Exhale, five, try to hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back up halfway. This time place your left hand or the left forearm on the floor. Twist to the right side. Here's an option is to keep twisting. Option two, bend your left leg, pull the heel to the butt a couple of times and see if you can manage to have your right hand to pull your left heel. If not, just bend and try to pull. For those who can grab the foot, you're gonna pull the heel to the butt. We'll do this together. All right, now try to breathe deep and slow. Every exhale, pull it closer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, release. your hands to support now get out of it slowly right foot come back down to the floor again and this time sweep the arms over the head to lengthen up the spine exhale hands goes behind the hips push your hip forward we're going to the back bend stage now what I want you to be careful is not to sink your lower back 
not to sink your body weight to the lower back like this. Trying your best to keep this part neutral and focus on inhale, lifting through the chest. Exhale. Activate your glutes and push forward. Squeeze your back, shoulder blades like this to pop your chest. Two. Three. Four. Five. And get out of it. Okay. Now you might need two blocks here, right underneath your hands. What we're gonna try to do is to working on a little bit of our splits. We don't have to go all fully away. It's all about trying to cap the awareness to keep the hips square, rather than trying to force your body to go all the way down. So start with maybe slide the right foot a little bit forward. Tuck your back toes. First off, you come up and trying to be here and really pull the right hip back, left hip forward to keep everything aligned. And then you're gonna tuck your back toes, find your balance here. Doesn't matter how wide is your leg. Trying to slightly tuck the tailbone and bend the left knee, hold it. We're gonna do it two rounds on this side. First one here, I'm going for my 80% of the maximum. I'm, go, I'm not going to the maximum. First one is I'm trying to get 80%. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, second round, you can drop your knees and trying to pause it right here. Instead of focus on getting down, Let's focus on push the heel down and try to think about lifting the hands up. So we are going into a different direction. So we want to kind of trick the brain that we don't want to go down because that is what pre prevent us to go down is because the brain thinks that it's dangerous to go down to kind of break your body. So we're not going down, we're thinking about lifting up. So pressing to the heel, think of lifting your hands up from the floor. And then you can slide. For those who can already maybe working on almost the full split, you can go for it, but take your time. Two, three, four, five, and out of that. Okay, take your time. Make your way out of it. You can take some rest in child pose or go back to vinyasa. Or take five here. And then we start to do everything on the other side. All right. Feel free to pause the video a little longer if you need. All right, otherwise, we will go straight to the left side. Right, first off, tuck the back toes. Back to the down dog first. Next, inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip, keep the shoulder square. Three times, circle either at where you are or keep the knee to the nose and elbow and up. One, a little bit front and up, two, one more, three, exhale, left foot step between the hands, inhale, sweep the arms over the head, exhale, arms right behind, lean forward, hold, shift forward, like you're about to float that right toes. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, stand up. Both hands goes behind, 
interlace your fingers and go for a humble warrior again up breathe lengthen squeeze your shoulder blades back exhale fold your body down to the right side one two trying your best to get your hip down low three shoulders pull them out away from ears squeeze the back four five exhale drop both hands on the floor straight out both legs then you're gonna drop your right knee on the floor completely slide your left foot towards to the right hand go for a pigeon pose now adjust yourself again trying to pull out that left knee away towards to the left side of the mat keep the body straight line even though you look like this and you cannot manage to get your hip down that's fine all right find your support to the front we're gonna go up and down five times start with an inhale push the hand Lift your body away from the floor. Exhale. One. Inhale, back up. Down. Two. Exhale. Three. Four. Last one. Hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, and slowly come up. We're going to twist to the next move. So either place your right hand a little bit towards to the left side of the mat or bring your right arm, right forearm down. Then twist, left hand place on the left knee and turn. Just give it a little bit, few breaths to so twist first. And then optional, you can either stay here or Flex your right ankle, pull your right heel to the butt, lift up first, and then maybe left hand will catch the foot. Maybe you need a strap. If not, don't worry, just focus on the twist. Every inhalation, lengthen the spine and lean towards to that right thigh. And exhale, pull your right heel closer. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, release first. Find your support with the hands and then feel free to straight your left leg. We are going into our lunges and back bend. Pull your left foot down, adjust your legs again. Inhale, sweep the arms over the head. Exhale, place both hands behind the hip and push your hip forward. And at the same time, we are going to squeeze the shoulder blades pop your chest up we're gonna lift the shoulders up and back so the chest goes forward right keep the core engaged inhale exhale push one now if you should feel it rather than the front heat flexor not so much in the back though two three four f 
five, six. Great job. Drop your hands, straight your left leg just for a bit. Next one, we are going to go for a little bit of a full split series. Two rounds of the full splits, two rounds of the full splits preps. First one can be 80%, 70-80% of how much you can do. So adjust your legs again, hip square, and we are focused on pushing the heel and the foot to lift ourselves up. All right. Maybe come up, left hip back, right hip forward. And if you can, trying to lift that front foot up and balance on the heel. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And let go. Okay. Take a few breaths or pause. And then we are going to do the second round, which is going to be a little bit deeper. Okay. This time I'm starting here. And we are going to, to also keep the knee on the floor this time. All right. And then instead of focus to so get down, focus on push the heel and try to make your hand as light as possible. So also the hands can be on the block as well. One. And then once you feel all right, you can slide the heels forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. And slowly get out of it. Child pose. Pull your hip back, drop your head. Relax your body and inhale. We're gonna lay down on our back. Here's our almost final little part here. Hug your knees so as to your chest. Roll up side to side. And we're starting with a little bit of more hamstring stretching so straight your right leg up both hands will hook on top of the thigh like this now the other leg can bend or straight it depends on how much you feel more comfortable you can of course slide the hands up to the ankles or even the foot if you can grab it the key is, we're gonna do this. Hands will feel like they want to pull the leg to the chest. And at the same time, I want you to feel like the leg is kicking the hand away or kicking the leg to this direction. So it's, the hand is pulling the leg and the leg, it's, it's kind of push it back and toes to the front. So go into the opposite directions. You're going to flex your ankles wherever you are with your hands. And then, okay, here we go. Inhale. You're going to feel the push and the pull. One hand is pulling the leg. Leg is kicking it away. Two. Flex the ankles more. Pull the toes. Toes to the shin bone. Three. 
four, five, pull and push, pull and push, six, okay, bend your right knee a couple times, and then release this leg down, oh, you can get your right knee to open it out like a butterfly pose but with the leg and then breathe here pause for a second and you can pull your knees up and down and pause all right let's go for the other side so same goes with this side hands are pulling the leg and the leg is pushing the hands away all right you ready flex your ankles and push and pull one two three four five six and let it go bend your knees a couple times okay oh your hips side to side as well and we're gonna hug the knees so to the chest and feel free to massage your back go for a happy baby Pull your knees out to the side ribs. And extend the arms over your head. Bring your legs or toes together. Bring your legs or big toes together. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale. Let it out. Adjust your legs, your ankles, release your arms out, close your eyes. the back of your head, relax your neck, your throat, 